Another day in paradise and I'm sitting here again in a hoodie and a beanie. This weather is drunk. Ah, uh, this weather is drunk. All right. Um, where did I stop? Let me see. Right, Michael Bang. We need. We need Michael Bang's stuff. We need uh, rice. Right, our guy. What was his name? Otto. Was his name Otto? Is growing some rice on our vegetable farm. And we also have the jellyfish events going on. Yeah, white rice, zero out of three. Let me have a look over here, starfish. It's been a bit of a week for me since playing this last, so give me a minute. Okay, couple of plants fossils obviously and we need to remove some of those orange jellyfish um but we also want to get our booty to the abandoned cave so i would say um we are getting our booty down there again Let's have a look at the shop. I I already got the oxygen emergency pager. It is a wonderful Friday morning and we are then returning to Tenzin. And see what he got in store for us. So now the question is... Yeah, I need to go in here. Alrighty. Tenzin. What is going on with that cave? Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people's storage. The glacier passage key is in that place. Suwan will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. Suvam, the best warrior of the sea people, will guide you to the place. Follow me. Alright, we're, we're not even wasting time. We are immediately going there. Here, human. Go bring me the glacier passage key. So dreary and dark, why is this place locked anyway? Mm, I'm not sure, I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere though. I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. But that was like a thousand years ago, sea people, sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Uh, I'm nervous, I, are you coming with me? I'm the best warrior of my people, you want me to do such a mundane task? I will stay here and protect the area, hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, sure. Let's go in, I guess. Got nothing to lose, right? Oh, it's cold. The key should be deeper inside a room with a mural, if I remember, if I remember correctly. Are these guys staying up there? Okay, we get that here. And we run into a cutscene. What a cut what a cute sea bream. It must have come through that small crack. Oh wow, they are really There it's like zombie sea people down here, okay. That's kinda cool. Holy cow, what is that? The ancient sea people to whom I'm talked about? They are still alive? It's fortunate that they all that they are still locked in the cells. I should not draw their attention. Alright, we're not trying to draw their attention then. Just having a look around. That guy is swimming down there. Maybe I'm gonna switch on onto the gun just in case. 
That looks like a mural. This must be the room Suwon talked about, where the mural is, but where is the key? This picture seems to imply something. Do I need to... Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I think I understand. That here. That here. Oops. No, oh, come on. There we go. That square one up here. That here. And the X up here. There we go. Something is opening up. And there we have the key. Oh, the device. That must be the Glacier Passage key. What a creepy place. I'd better pick up the key and quickly leave. I bet something is about to happen now at last. Playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great though. Shall I return? Uh, yeah. Technically yes, but... Uh oh. Oh no, an earthquake. And now those zombies are on the run. Uh oh. Come on. We better get a moving day. If oh no, another earthquake. I heard something crumbling. Oh. oh. Deliver key to Tenzin. So this wasn't really Um, oh no. Oh no. I guess I can fight them off. No, the exit is blocked. And now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Garden is the name of ancient sea people who were mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. Uh, okay. And then we're gonna do that. Hmm, I don't think I can pass here. What if I hide behind the stone statue over there? I will go unnoticed. Do you think that they've... Hide behind a stone statue to avoid being seen by Gardon? Use the stone statue when you're in danger. Ah, right. I see. Ooh. Okay, I don't have a lot of time here. You're not seeing me, my friends. It is all in your head, all an illusion. Okay, I should be safe now. Ooh, okay, that is moving now. Let's get that here. Because I believe I will have to... No, I probably have to come along here. There we go. Another earthquake. Ah, that would have been... Oh, can I still grab it? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, okay, okay. We're out, we're out. They're coming for me. And 
I think we made it out though. I think we made it out. Yeah. Oh, and look who's missing. Suvam, obviously. Coward. But I knew Suvam was not going to wait for me. Anyway, I got the key. Now I must return to... What the heck is that? Oh no, is that Mr. Duke Nukem? Yeah, it is. Wait! You're robbing Grace now, as if destroying the environment was not enough. Huh? That is the sea people's... Be quiet. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. And the wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly Sea Blue armor RX-93 and its power. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You are an environmental disaster. You're gonna pay now. Uh, alrighty. No amount of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks very tough. No bullets were penetrated. No bullets, though? Oh, I could. Oh, the missiles are slowing down. If only I could direct it at him. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? Anything that can deflect the missiles? Maybe... Ooh... Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, me. There we go. Ah! Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. Come on. There we go. Another one. Come on, John. Throw your missiles again. Ooh, that was close. Ouch. Shit. Okay, I might... Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, shit, no! I was just about to get the... the seashell. Uh, I know that I have the, um... Rescue... Rescue oxygen bottle. But I was a bit... I, I thought I might make that. Didn't expect that guy to hit me again. Okay, that's number one. I hope three... Hits will do. There we go. Ooh. Shit. There we go. Ah, my eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is... I can't forgive you destroying nature. I'm watching you. Yeah, you're watching me, alright. But you know what? You, you Nice pants. I think you're the guy actually destroying nature right now. With your bombs and... 
you're tenacious. Here, he was wearing high-tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of it. Out of this, he may find. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's actually not a bad idea, Dave. I see a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the glacier passage to Tenzin. All right, okay, we are immediately going over there. Oh, you actually brought me the Glacier Passage key. Subam told me that he cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up, but I guess it took you some time. Um, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you have seen Gadorns? Are they still alive? Gadorns? Ha, ah, this is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Ah, you know what, we can, we can hear the long one. Good, I'm going to tell you the story of the Gadorns, okay? About 800 years ago, the Gadorns were at the pinnacle of the civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy and they lasted so long. The fruits that could, go, that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However, there are always those who are blinded by greed. Dashe, one of the senior technician, 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 tech, te tech, technic, yeah, senior, Technique, technicians wanted to apply the power of the fruits beyond mundane purpose purposes. He preceded the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of our ancestors? Yes, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dashe was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. Ah, yeah, the long story of greed and power. To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called Yawi. Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? At that time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. And then one day... The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their body turned into turned pale and their limbs twisted. They, beca they became so violent that they began to attack other sea people. So they are the monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gadorns and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died, but it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gadorns were still alive. That means maybe some of them may still be roaming the Glacier Passage. And you are expecting me to go there? I beg you, the sea people have been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. Right now, you are the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperatures and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this. It is my gift for you. The sea people's necklace. Wear this and the, and the tube worms to the deep sea will retreat. Oh yeah, nice. You know those strange worms that look like sticks? That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suwam to guide you to the entrance of the Glacier Passage. Alright! Um... Nice. Get out of the village, yeah. So we got the key. And we also do have... No, we actually don't have any... Hello? 
Oh yeah, I'm at the top, of course. Ah, uh, some things are still going down. Oh, are still going on down there, right? I didn't finish all of the tasks, right? Of course. I did not finish all of the tasks. I won that trust, but there is still a bit to do. Oh my, yes, this is it. Thank you so much. I can finally provide proper food to my customers. I'd like to hear about your humans too. So drop by to chat every now and then. Tube corals needed. Ah, yeah, right, right, right. The tube corals. Um, what else did we have? Just the guy there. Oh no, there's stuff on the board, I see. Uh, the spider crab, the deep sea crabs keep destroying the edible corals. Could you defeat just three? I like to keep some small and petty and, and pretty nautiluses. Could you get me just three? I haven't seen them yet. So I'm basically just getting money for that, right? Uh, and what was I... Again, doing with that money? Oh wait. Seed shop. Workshop. Okay, we can accept that here for now. Let me have a look. At the blacksmith here. Uh -huh, nothing to worry about, huh? I really need to get the coral porridge quickly. Oh yeah, right. The coral porridge. I need to ask... Our sushi master for that again, right? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. And um, yeah, it is still the morning. It's still a Friday morning and we didn't get any fish yet. We survived another encounter with John. But no fish yet. And we still need to... Oh, yeah. We probably should get a bit more... Jellyfish? You never know. You never know. Okay, let me see. We wanna get rid of a couple of crabs. Oh yeah, let me actually take that here. I remember now that I need to... There we go. Stargazer's Tooth. We have a new item. sea toad so this is obviously now oh wait I need to get some of these of course so we technically can get them I don't know why I thought it was something else yeah well I might I might need that I didn't have a chance to change the necklace yet, right? So here we have a bit more jellyfish.
There we go. Cookie cutter shark. Well, these guys are... Oh, you're still alive. There we go. So I heard for the red ones, or I did read, that you actually need um, trank darts for these guys. Well, darts, not harpoons. So I don't think that will do a lot. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay. Okay, okay. So you can farm them while they are still alive. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Oh, shit. Okay, I, um... I, I'm not allowed to alarm them. Oh, shit, 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 shit. There's another one up there. Mm, okay, let me get that here. And there we go again. Nice. Also very heavy. Unfortunately. But hey, that's a bit new jellyfish on our menu for the VIP night. Another one. I missed. But there we go. Yeah, now I'm getting heavy. Getting heavy, heavy. What is always going on with those rocks that are moving here? No, that doesn't... That doesn't do anything, okay. Oh, but... Yeah, I didn't see that guy. We can use that... Rock here for you, my friends. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> Shit. There we go. That worked. Well, I need to get up anyways. It's getting time. I'm getting heavy. I think I might have forgotten the way out. No, I think the way out is here. Should be. The way out should be somewhere around here. I think I prefer my freeway gun.
Yeah, no, I'm heavy, heavy. A rhino, 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 something. Horn. And here we have. Here we would have our crab that we need to get rid of. Maybe I get rid of some rank ones. Discard, discard, discard. There we go again. So yeah, I uh, finally learned that you actually need to throw rocks at these guys. Yeah. There we go. Spider crap. What do we have here? Cat food. Only common cat food, but... Momo will still like that. It's a good kitty. Momo loves me. Momo will like that. Huh? And that one didn't want to get dragged. Here we have another crab. There we go. More cat food. We didn't feed Momo today though, right? That's a good reminder to do that now. Once we get back up. Um, where's my capsule to get up, by the way? I haven't seen a single one of them yet. Okay, all spider crabs are done. Another upgrade. We're not messing with that fishy yet. Yeah, I'm not wearing it yet. So, I need to... Get that out. But if I'm honest, I'm just looking for a capsule up. Obviously, I take those ores here. Poison Harpoon now. I stick with the Trank one. Shovel. Let's get that pink jellyfish here. Eh, uh, not jellyfish. Starfish. But yeah, where's my capsule up? Ouch. There we go. There we finally go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm already... I'm full full, I just didn't see that. Okay, um, yeah, we're getting up, we're gonna call it a capsule. 
I would say today was a good day or a good morning. The day isn't over yet. Let's get that up and see what else the day has on its mind for us. We, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna keep those seahorses. I think we're gonna keep them. <laughs> 